Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Mine 4 Millennium Dawn as the Roman Republic. Let's continue on. Exactly the Roman Empire. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, 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 we're at 22% world tension. It is decreasing. I by zero. Minimum is 25. So, we could start declaring war on people, but of course they're all in NATO, so that is risky. We just need... So you don't raise world tension. I get claims, but claims we still can't justify on that, unfortunately. As soon as we retake the African coast, we gotta immediately go to recover the Balkan area and just annex, 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 annex everything we possibly can. Because no country in that area, in like the former Yugoslavia, has... is in NATO, as far as I know. Um, right? None of you guys are in NATO? Like, you're not, you're not, you're not. Yeah, most of these people, we can annex this whole region. And I think that seems like a good idea. Uh, political power is coming in 4.13 a day. Beautiful. I think we're about 200 days, 250 days until we can leave the EU. I mean, we've already annexed Switzerland. You think at that point they might be a little bit upset with us and just kick us out? Uh, Europeanism is still just like so high. Even in our own country, 95% of people support the EU, but... You know what? Okay, so Syrian Arab Republic has taken six states. They've won their civil war. We gain claim takes. So we actually gain war goals for doing this. Going to political power is expensive, but I'm going to be getting it for free through here. That's uh, my actual events. Japan. No, I don't think we need to deal with you right now. As soon as I can attack Austria, we can start doing all this um, neo urbanization which I'm assuming is going to give us cores. Yes. Um, so it's going to be... I mean, Rome... It's going to be reborn, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely no question about that. We can retake the African coast in two more days. But again, we're not going to get any cost of bellies. I wonder how much territory do you think we can actually take... How much is just declaring war on um, Switzerland will cost 4.1%. And the whole war actually costs 14%. So we can maybe take like two countries. We can probably take Austria first. I mean, who actually would be the best target for a war? Probably Austria because that will um, allow us to do one of these focuses. I think just taking Slovenia is not enough. Yeah, we can take a lot of territory to actually get uh, these other areas done. So we'll just take over Austria first. It'll be our first target. So focus our attention here. Draw our troops towards uh, Vienne. Four to seven divisions. Uh, they're going to be absolutely crushed by the might of the, the Roman military. There's one thing Rome's known for. It's for its good military. Italy's not known for that, but Rome is known for that. Uh, there's, there's a very important distinction there. Can't go fast growth. I mean, could I go for more military's budget? Output jumps 15%. But it's going to cost... You know what? It's only going to cost like an extra $30 billion a day. Not $30 billion. $30 million a day. Let's go up to the next level of... Um, And it, what, what risk is in the modifier for more manpower? It was in here somewhere, I believe. Yeah. Military focus. It's, it would still take us a long time to get down to army of quantity. Which I think is what we want. So we're going to get about 1% recruit population out of that for free. Like 1%. Right now we're at 4%. 0.4%. So it almost triple our current manpower pool. Just from that one focus. Where are our tanks? We have one tank division. You guys will deploy in Venice as soon as you are able to. Uh, we only can have 15 guys with this one division. Because you're, you're not allowed as many men. Okay, so you're still over this region. And you know what? Because we're not going to go into Malta. In fact, uh, all the troops have left Malta. My own fault, to be fair. Um, we'll put them here. I 
Are you also... Okay, so yeah, you're just gonna airdrop in Vienna. I've never really used the paratroopers much. And you, got, and you go to Graz. We'll see how that works out. I mean, they're going to be a major city, so they should have enough um, supplies. Okay, so we've got an extra research slot. Let us go. Again, we're just more industry tech. So until we hit uh, 2005 technology, I think we just keep going for this one. Do you have more military fighters? Is there anything we're missing? Infantry fighting vehicles. Um, we can definitely get some more of you. Let's go up to five factories. We do need a little bit more steel, a little bit more oil. But unfortunately, most people don't really want to trade with us. I can understand why. But it'd be really nice if you would trade with us. The so 510 for fast growth. How much is it going to cost to go for... You can go to... So what is... Okay, what is, what is this? 2% um, increase for... 5% more tax revenue. Yeah, we're going to... Only widespread corruption. Only widespread. Not, you know, crippling uh, amounts. So we have 23 more days. One of the following must be true. Is that War Montenegro? Montenegro does not exist. So I am ready. All of you guys have no idea what's coming. The land of Vienna, land of Graz. That should give us... Let's see, 10... Five. I think they've just modified it, so every major city is 5. Can anybody else be airlifted? We're gonna go probably not. I don't actually know where you can see. Yeah, just these two. Okay. Unfortunately, you know what? Because they can actually pair drop, and I have to have a decent amount of planes for these smaller countries. I can probably afford to uh, train some up. Like, I'm pretty sure they're probably pretty small. 18 combat with... You know what? Delete this. We're just going to train a ton of these tiny units. 11, probably a little bit overkill. Let's just go for 10. And they should build pretty fast. They need CNC equipment. We're only going to build one line of this. These guys are high priority. Give me my paratroopers. Because for like these smaller cities, other than like Croatia, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Let's say if we're on fighting Hungary, we have all our troops on this front line. We can probably just land in every one of these cities behind them. The AI shouldn't have any men back there, and they just capitulate. That's the plan. It's also going to allow me to use paratroopers at all. Uh, which I have notoriously been really bad at, even though every time I have problems, the obvious resolution is, hey, train paratroopers. Do you guys actually have aircraft? No, okay. That that works out pretty well for me then. I'm just I don't know how much I think declaring war on them is not gonna get an, enough points for Switzerland or Austria to join a faction. Because technically, um there is no faction yet. There's no faction that exists for Western Alliance nations. We got the resistance axis, we got, you know, Saudi Arabians faction, Russia and China. Like NATO exists as a faction, it just doesn't exist on the map yet. Someone has to attack NATO first before it gets uh, kicked in. So. Anatolia we can hold off on. We're going to go for the military focus. We can go down the army of quality. And I think we're just going to declare war. 27%. We're going to wait for the Austrians. We must win. To probably move all their troops on the border, which is what we want. Okay, so you guys are going to go to this airport. We should win both of these fights. 
So you actually don't connect there. Okay, you could do something like that then. When the time comes. Thank you everybody for your uh, generous gifts. So. We should have air superiority, which we do. No units assigned to this mission. Don't need to do air supply. I think you're just fine where you are. But what's the panel's problem? Oh, because you also need to be here. It needs to be in the entire pathway. Okay. We should have air superiority over both. So now you should be good. And I believe now we can probably just do like the uh, the airdrop. We took Roz, we took Vien, got them down like half a capitulation, and that should mean that this other truck. Pronto, Let's see if we can actually just march to these cities. If I just had enough paratroopers, we could have landed in every one of these cities and have won just won the war basically immediately. Okay, we do got a Humvee. Who's the who's like the kind of trash one? You're slightly bigger. Okay. I think for right now, you just hold the city. Yeah, you just both hang out. Take VN, hold Graz. We should be okay. Of course, it's going to take a while. We are mar we are driving through uh, some pretty hazardous terrain. If you are to march the Linz, how long would that take you? I think you 21 days, and that guy would absolutely just immediately move in. Probably don't want to do that, unfortunately. Okay, so you should be able to hold this line. You're going to be in a different army. You are our paratrooping uh, army. Then another line, let's say from here to Linz. I want this. No, okay. Half of you on that line. And if you can just like do that right away. Okay, we did take this city. Media landed. Austria's capitulated. Paratroopers are really good. Why don't I use them at all? The great questions. So we're at 39%. Uh, 39% here. I mean, I do have more people I could attack. Uh, these two paratroopers that I have, we're going to immediately send you both into Orange Army. Delete all your old plans, because I don't think they matter right now. Paratroopers here. Who is next in our in our list of people we need to kill? I mean, we have a bunch of options. By the way, do you let me join your faction yet? Not neighboring faction member. Okay. I mean, I could just start attacking everybody. But who would be the nicest to attack? Also, I would like to... I don't have 15. You know what? I'm going to take out a bunch of loans so I can core this territory. It's going to take us 150 days. Okay. Well, it's a little while. But money, money's no object. Let's take our Slovenia. And I think you guys are going to be ready for an invasion of... We could just attack, like, Croatia at the same time. I'm trying to think. Because the AI always has our troops on the border. We might be able just to, to be able to, like, attack Bosnia. With just paratroopers and maybe be able to win. Because I'm trying to think. They'd have troops in this province, in this province, in that city. So this would be 12 out of 15. Is that 80%? Is that 80%? Calculator. What is 12 or 15? Oh, shit. Uh, what is 12 or 15? It's, eight, it's exactly 80%, which is not enough for capitulation. So, I mean, how many shoes does Bosnia have? 8 to 15. Okay. 
I'm trying to think. Bulgaria would not. Wait, who would have, have cost the bellies against? I cost the bellies against the entire Baltic or Balkan region. We can probably do Hungary. If we move our aircraft a little bit closer, let's say we go to here. And you guys will go to this airport. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. A bond agreement doesn't ma uh, make any difference to us. You guys have one of three divisions. We should be able to crush you pretty easily. Yeah, so now you can land. Okay, so we'll do that... From here to Budapest. We gotta do, we gotta draw like a bunch of these things. To that city. And then go from here to there. Let's like at least draw the lines for now. Once we go to war with Hungary, they should move all their troops on our border. There we go. So we get something like this. It's kind of hard to click on these because they are shaved a bit strange. But as long as you guys can do something like that, we'll, it'll be looking good in our favor. Hopefully nobody is too mad at us. I mean... We're a little bit upset. 31% uh, world tension. The question is, do I attack Hungary first? Probably not. I've, I've already got my troops on the border with Slovenia. You are guaranteed by a lot of people, though. But Hungary isn't. So sorry, Hungary. Uh, the West has decided your fate. And it has decided that your fate uh, is to not be alive anymore. I apologize, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. Because you're backed by these guys. We don't have any cost abilities against Slovakia. We're against Agent 47. Don't know why he's in Romania, but... So we're going to basically hit Hungary, probably hit Romania afterwards. Everybody who's got a Western backing currently is getting guaranteed by the West. Which is understandable. Uh, Hungary, you have two to four divisions. You don't have a lot of men, to be honest. Do you have any planes? Yes, but basically no. The flyover in this region. Hungary, I apologize for this. You've already got the backing of... Uh, Belgium. Well, that does kind of throw things into a... Uh, a more difficult situation. You've got the backing of the Egyptians. I still don't actually enough still not enough war score to actually justify a war. Um Bosnia actually didn't have a port. Maybe I should have just attacked them when they were not looking. Uh But, I mean, being at war with Belgium doesn't invoke NATO. I'm, like, 99% sure. I'm going to save the game just in case I screw this up. But being at war with Belgium is not the worst thing in the world. Because, again, I, they, it doesn't trigger NATO unless I attack them. That, that's kind of, like, the whole thing. Of, that's the whole point of NATO. So, if I declare war here... Belgium's joined the war, but I, I don't think that matters. We immediately land troops in every single major city. Is that enough for them to capitulate? Yes. Beautiful. Paratroopers are really good. I, I wish I uh, had known that earlier. That is one war concluded, essentially. Um, they're not in a faction, so they will just, you know, capitulate like normal. You have a bunch of political power. I still don't think I can change anything. Oh, medium corruption. Let's go. 
I mean, you're guaranteed by some people. You're also, like... How many men do you have? Two to four? How many planes do you have? Not a ton, honestly. We might be able to get an, an, an invasion of them to work. Maybe. You're now backed by Poland. Poland is just kind of hanging out. I thought I literally thought that I genuinely thought that was Harrison Ford. Um Putin. You don't like us right now. But that's okay. Okay, what we all we need to do uh to cheese the to cheese the entire game is just justify a war goal. Uh, against somebody who actually matters. 7%. Who could I justify a war goal against that would create 11%? So basically just do this. Immediately cancel it. Does it not work anymore? Oh. Okay, I might need to do it multiple times at once. But Poland, how many trips do you have? 15 to 22. Okay, I mean, that's not insignificant. Uh, you guys have a battle plan. So your plan then is going to come up to this airport. We will send over the fighters. Well, not the fighters. We'll send over... Ah, uh, you know, we can actually send over everything, I think. Well, almost everything. We'll, we'll, you guys go to here with these guys. And my transports, please go to here as well. We'll, we'll just, like, airdrop our way into... We're just going to airdrop our way into Belgium. Will that work? I don't know. I can offer them a ceasefire, but that's for cowards, and we're not doing that. We are getting 4.02 uh, political power. I mean, a map... It's a bit of a mess. I will compl I will admit, it's a bit of a mess right now. But can I just land in all of Belgium's major cities? I think it's possible. Again, th these troops are extremely cheap. I'm kind of fine losing them. I just don't know where they would... Um, Keep their troops. Like if like we're not bordering, where does the AI normally keep its divisions? I would imagine, like if I had to take a guess, I would say the port is where the AI defaults to this thing too. Uh, you guys, the majority of the army is going to go into the invasion into, uh, Brussels. Please let me click this one right here. I know it's hard to, there we go. So that is now done. Fly over, uh, Europe now. Because again, how many planes? You, you don't have a ton of planes, right? A hundred? We should have air superiority over there. But I think with the capturing of, I think like three countries this episode, it's going to be a pretty good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. And if not, enjoy, close thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.